the title is Design, Manufacturing and Construction Processes from Theme to Reality. Uh, Javier is an architect that studies his master's degree at the Technical University of Madrid. A doctorate PhD in process about methodology and new architecture. He's also the founder and president of the National Architect Association from Spain, Autodesk Revit Professional Certificate, and member of the National Office Architect College, Building Smart and International Beam Manager Institute. Uh, he has more than 30 years of experience in the architecture world. He's participating in the research and innovation project about 3D printing, print and build, 3D cons and Hinkong. And in Hinkong, he will collaborate as main researchers from the site of Fatanga. Javier, the floor is yours. Hello, good morning. Thanks for coming, all of you. So it's, first of all, talk about the grandfather, Carlos. Thanks for coming. The mother, father, and the grandfather. It's almost been 10 years working on that, so a lot of work. So uh, nothing we can do but ourselves. Uh, you know, architects, we always collaborate. We need people, engineers and construction companies and this kind of material uh, companies all around because uh, alone we can do anything. So thanks to all of you and the rest of the partners from previous projects, for sure. So what was our, our work here? So when we started, we were experts on construction, uh, the kind of uh, traditional projects, the focus on new technologies for sure. We were experts on BIM, building information modeling, and was on one of the key for that. So what we started with uh, a lot of uh, thousands, we can say, of, of projects, just uh, checking how, uh, what we can do with the technology we had uh, three years ago, four years ago, uh, and we can, what can, can we print and what will be the savings and saving and time. So that was our start point. And what we did is just to translate the, these kind of things uh, more related or even to, to be um, under the, the regulations, the European regulations to be able to, to print something that we can uh, use because it's not, uh, we're not making models, we're trying to make parts of real use. So our last uh, calculation estimation was to save, you see downstairs, down, saving time and money, a lot of them. So this is what we started. So uh, what did we do? We start with the funny part of an architect, no? thinking out of the box and looking for this kind of magic forms that uh, it's almost, or not almost or very, very expensive to make on traditional ways. Uh, what we do, we usually do, we try, we design, it's quite easy in computer, you can have anything, almost like paper, but uh, we are at least try to print it with some kind of plastic, some kind of concrete, and then you realize that uh, what I had yesterday from Luzon, no? you only learn about 3D printing when you 3D print. It's so simple, but it's, it's real. So we did it, and we also were able to, to, to print it on concrete. So, but, and then uh, everything changed. Everything starts changing a little bit. And uh, much more with the help of, of Lafarge, he's been uh, previously Spanish and then European. Lafarge is without uh, material, you can't do anything. You just can't go playing with your computer. And then we talk, we start to do, to do something serious, to develop which kind of things we can print. Uh, and then how to, to go on that with this planification for only three years because it was really sourced, a lot of work done in three years. So we started with this, this kind of prototype. This prototype was printed in plastic, it's somewhere in Brussels, I think. So um, we design, we test, we do a lot of tests with them, uh, all the kind of uh, things we can do on computers, trying to print it. So what well, was the first approach and we were able to do something that was uh, really, at least for us, really different. And also considering what was to be going to be the most uh, serious part, uh, all the data, all this kind of uh, how this was going to to work when it was done. Uh, much more talking here that we were sure that what we were going to print or to fabricate was going to be broken and tested by, by these people here in, in Torroja, as always. So that was the most um, but starting to get a little serious. We did some kind of, of um, 
of uh, phased approaches. And for example, uh, a kind of bridge is much easier to, to copy one of the best bridges in the world and just to how would it be to be within the printed and then looking for some kind of models just to save in a material. For example, in the column you see upstairs the model and the, the, the green, we save uh, more than half of the material with the same uh, capacity of, um, of strength. And then we started also with not, because since was said, it's not the boring part, but the serious part, no? Nils, about the ISO, all the standards. Uh, for us, uh, um, we, all the partners, we are worried about, uh, we're always talking about do we must do something standard? If we, we do something for us, there will be no success for all. So we're really experts, well, like experts, a, little, a lot of work done for more than 20 years on that, uh, also with the Roja and all the standards, I know and ISO is the national, and all related to being building information modeling. So we decided this first uh, five uh, ASOs, uh, almost them are, most of them are until development right now, we work on several of them and how they will be translated to, to our BIM models, because we need to do that, something that we can be understandable or easily interchangeable and useful for with other softwares and so for, and so for other much more companies. So we look for these two big issues and how what we were doing were implemented in, were going to be implemented. So um, we're also talking about level of info definition, level of geometry, level of information. And it was uh, for us, uh, because also these three years we were working on that on the European Committee, one of our uh, key of the work. So what we did is we started with how our 3D models, have, which kind of parameters they must have. So we started with the traditional ones and then we focus on what's going to be the IFC. IFC standard is, is, is ISO standard, it's interchangeable, interchangeable uh, beam uh, file. So that will help us to be sure that we can, what we can do must be usable for, for the rest of the, of the world, let's say it. So that was our start, our start idea, think about uh, getting some ideas, using the paper, that's forever. Uh, there's some kind of, of beam software, traditional beam software, we put it real on stress, believe me, we had to make some plugins and some things outside because there's not enough, they're not really prepared for that. They're looking for some kind of 3D files, the standards right now, and then to be able to, to fabricate as usually was supposed to us to be. So that was just the start point. What we did finally was something like that. And you will see later, because I'm not going to show you everything because we have some partners talking later, but um, this will be our, our final workflow. And what we started do it in, doing in like uh, two, three weeks, finally was made only in two, three minutes. Oh, yeah, we're talking about our part, so we're really proud of what we've done with the rest of the help of the partners, it's not to us all our side. So we started with the simple um, designs. I think that it is something that we have here, no? Some part here. I don't know if we can see it later. So we printed, we started printing. It's uh, almost two meters high and well, it's, everything started to, to work. I'm not going to show you much more. And then we think about other things, no? A kind of floors lab, for example. And yes, it was uh, amazing all the resistance compared to traditional floors. And yes, we almost printed. Hmm. So then we look for something a little more different. So we start with a part of a house and we made some kind of wall. And yes, we also did it. This is some of the parts you can see outside, no? Uh, just, we're only talking about additive. Uh, for sure, the, one of the key of the, the project of Hincom is also subtractive, so it's going to something that is going to be talked later. And then we went to start with something much more difficult, so much more complex uh, geometries with uh, the problems of curvatures, um, angles, 
and really, really, really related to the machine, how it was moving, and also how the material was um, was uh, working during the process. Not also later, but even during the process is quite uh, amazing. For us, uh, usually architects, the, the, we think about materials that like something done, and then we have to think about something that is going to be done, and it's uh, a bit different. It's much more like being, and what we did finally, being with the computer at the work, at the workplace. So, uh, in fact, maybe I think that it would be the for us the regime. So finally, we were there. If you see down with the computer and the machine through the printing. So just like, like a control P, no, and print. We were almost able to, to do that and that's what, what we were doing in fact two three weeks ago looking for that so i'm not going to show you so much because for sure you're going to see it later so where are we now right now we're on the market finally i think that uh, when we come back to from brussels to let the european committee that we finish it we are going to be on the market and for sure with the partners alone we can do anything and also we're going to be on much more in investigation, maybe with the same partners for sure, maybe in some other ways, but this is where we are at the October of this year. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to work on that and we uh, can, can consider it not the first step, but one more step to continue working. So thank you very much. <laughs>